Hello everybody, thanks a lot for clicking on this video. My name is Umar Dito and I am a teens coach. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. But if you keep coming back, thanks a lot, you're much appreciated. In this video, we're gonna be sharing five tips on how to make new friends. Let's get right into the video. So first things first, friends actually bring out the emotional part of us. Friends make our senses work. A friend is someone you know so well. A friend is someone whom you are comfort comfortable around. You are yourself. An advantage could be that you unleash yourself around a friend. So a friend is someone whom you know very well. How do we get to know someone very well? How do we start on this process of making friends? So in this video, we're going to just be sharing five tips on how to go about this. You might have changed your location in a new school, in a new class. Whatever it is, there are just basic steps that you can take that will help you make new friends. As awkward as it may sound, the only way to make new friends is to take a chance and to meet people. That's the only way to go about this. So you need to meet new people. Go ahead and meet people. Go out. Go out and meet new people, right? Then you can decide whom your friend could be. Why is it easy for some people to make new friends? It is actually very difficult for some others to make new friends. Some are shy about it. Some are very timid and they will not want to take the bold step to go out, to approach someone, to say, oh, how are you doing? And stuff like that. But we need to break the barrier because the only way to do this is to meet people. So break that barrier. Put on your confidence face and then move out, okay? And meet new people. So tip number one, I would say start where you are at. So your new location, your new environment, it could be your classroom, it could be your neighborhood, wherever it is that you are at, that you just moved to, start from there, okay? Start from there. It could be someone you met at the grocery store. It could be anyone. It could be your classmate. The person sitting right beside you, in front of you, behind you. It could be anyone. So start where you are at. You're a student, so where do you spend most of your time? It should be the, it should be the classroom, right? Or your hostel, if you're a boarder. If you're in the university, your hostel, your roommates, that is just the best place to start. Where do you spend most of your time? That's where to start. So the first thing you should be looking at are the people that surround you. Yeah, in your class, the people that surround you. In the hostel, the people that surround you. That's where to start off from. If you are in a church, a coaching center, wherever it is, that's the best place to start where you are at then tip number two show yourself friendly like the bible says you want a new friend then show yourself friendly what do you do the first thing i think you should do is to change that frown to a smile you see that so it makes you approachable it makes people want to come to you wearing a smile constantly it makes the area where you operate less tensed and people love an easy flowing area, right? So where someone can just come to you, approach you and say hello, that's what people want. So wear a smile on your face, it makes you more approachable. Tip number three will be begin a conversation by introducing yourself and then asking questions. Probably if it's a new school and then you ha you've just had some lessons, I know the next thing on the timetable is break, right? So you just simply ask a question or you introduce yourself to your neighbor the person sitting beside you, any of them that you've seen that their face looks approachable or that you feel more comfortable around, you simply introduce yourself saying hello, introduce yourself, your name, and then you ask, I'm new here, what do we do for break? Where do we go for break? What happens during break? What do people do for fun during break? Or what do you do for fun during break? So you just simply ask the normal questions, okay? It could be anything. Then tip number four would be to listen. People love to talk about themselves generally. Okay, so listen to what people say. Listen. You just ask the question, right? So listen, listen attentively. People love it when people can listen. So don't interject, trying to interrupt. Listen. And now you are also supposed to pick out key things that this person is mentioning. Pick out key information. You just might see what both of you share in common. So if there are things that you share in common, I mean, way to go. This person might be a friend for a very long time. Or, okay, we're just classmates. So we'll just be acquaintances. Or stuff like that. So listen attentively and pick out the values that you share 
as the person speaks. Then tip number five, when you meet your acquaintances next time, there's people you have introduced yourself to and you said hello to, greet them again, say hello again with a smile. Then if they are walking towards the class, walk with them, start up a conversation. And then before you know it, they will love to hang out with you. They will want to spend time with you and a friendship is being brewed. Let's go ahead and make new friends in our new locations and new schools and wherever it is we find ourselves. Leave a comment below on tips that people could use to make new friends. How can I make new friends? So leave a tip below from experience, things you've been through that could actually help another person. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you love this video, kindly give it a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It's actually free. And click the notification button right after you do so. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.